Hi guys, what's up? It's Love Miss Fenty. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. So, as y'all could see, there's a background behind me. This is my new room. We moved. I'm happy as fuck. No, I don't live by myself. Um, I still live with my mom, but the whole entire basement is mine, basically. So... Now I can finally do what I came to fucking do. I've been trying to do YouTube for like, <laughs> I can't even tell you guys how long. I've literally been trying to do this since before I was in like the seventh grade. So I always wanted a YouTube channel and life just kicks your ass sometimes and you can't do the things that you want. But um, yeah, I had a lot of shit happen to me and um <laughs> and i realized a lot of stuff and um now i just i just i just stick to myself basically i don't really talk to anybody because that's really how i can succeed in life because i realize the more friends that i have and the more money that i have the more problems i have i'm just gonna do my makeup today and talk about basically why i was gone because um i don't think you guys ever got like a real explanation basically from the time that i moved back to florida after that i got really depressed when i moved back here because i fucking hate living here like where i live there's not shit here there's nothing to do here there's i don't have any friends here for overall so like and i'm not ta whenever i say i don't have any friends i'm not talking about the fucking two friends that i have i'm saying like people here are real fake and like even if i wanted to make friends i couldn't because i literally can't trust anybody that lives here let's see i'm gonna try to give you like a timeline kind of of what happened uh -huh. so after i moved back from florida i moved in with my grandmother um my grandmother hates weed so obviously there was like a lot of arguments about that because i was staying in her house she didn't want me to smoke in her house which is fine because even if i had my own house i probably wouldn't smoke in it but like i smoke weed i'm gonna smell like weed sometimes you know what i'm saying so i ended up moving out of there after like two months because she would get mad even if I smelled like weed and there would be times where I would go I would bring like a change of clothes with me and I would change my clothes and all that shit and she would still complain about me smelling like weed so I just moved the fuck out and that shit kind of made me a little bit more mad at life because people don't even try to understand people that smoke weed like people think that people that smoke weed just smoke it to fucking smoke it like, so I ended up moving in with my mom when I lived with my mom, I was living in the living room. Like, my room was a living room. Like, I had my bed right where the front door was. So, like, whenever you walked in, the first thing you seen was my room. Like, my bed, my makeup, all my belongings. Like, everything was right there. And it was so annoying. I could never have people over. I never had quiet. I couldn't even watch TV because, like, it was so fucking loud in my house. That's why I stopped recording because... As you can see from my last couple videos, there was just too many interruptions. Like, people would walk in the door, people would knock, um, people would play music, people would walk around. Also, whenever we lived in that house, or whenever we lived there, that was a triplex. So, there were people that lived in it also, not just us. So, like, even if my family was quiet, I couldn't really help anybody else that lived in it. Right, so, yeah, that's why I stopped recording because I was living there. I had no quiet. I had no privacy. I couldn't even like take a shower and get dressed in my own room because the front door was right there and I didn't have a door so there was just a curtain where like the walkway was. I live in the basement and I'm kind of like secluded and I have like my own little area. There's not much noise and there's not like too many interruptions besides when my brother's here because he also stays down here with me so yeah. So life is still a struggle, but at least I'm not depressed anymore, so yeah. Um, was I actually depressed? Yeah, I was. I didn't talk to anybody about it because the only two people that I talked to or tried to talk to about it really didn't give a fuck or listen. So I kind of just kept it to myself and dealt with it myself because I'm not seeing a doctor. I don't like medicine. I don't want to see a psychiatrist and that type of shit like that. Yeah, I don't think about bad shit anymore. I'm completely positive. All that good stuff so now that i got and worked my way out of depression since i knew i didn't want medicine i kind of did things to like try to help myself out of depression like i knew i liked doing my makeup so even if i was depressed even if i wasn't going anywhere i would just sit down and do my makeup 
why because i knew makeup calmed me down and i knew makeup is like the thing that i always loved so even when i was depressed if i wouldn't go anywhere i would just sit and do my makeup because i know that calms me down or i would sit and do my hair that's why i always had my hair braided all the time whenever i was depressed because i mean i've tried to do things to like keep myself busy also when i was depressed i read a lot of books which is weird as fuck because i hate reading like i hated reading my whole life <clears throat> I never liked reading books, so, um, yeah, I'm trying not to make this video long, but it's probably going to end up being kind of long just because I'm trying to tell y'all a story, you feel me? After I got out of, out of depression, um, I started working this place, and I wasn't making a lot of money there, so I looked around for other places to work, and I found this one place where I really liked working in September, and I would honestly say that January of 2018 was, like, my turnaround where I stopped being completely depressed like yeah I get sad a little sometimes here and there and it makes me so mad to the point where I'd be wanting to fucking kill myself but <laughs> no like I don't think about depression um I work every day I have happy thoughts all the time um I'm making money now and I think part of my depression was because I didn't have any money and I know money isn't happiness and I've always said that but um it's not that I wanted an abundance of money I didn't have money to the point where I couldn't buy myself food, I couldn't buy deodorant, I couldn't buy underwear, I couldn't even take care of myself because I was so depressed and I didn't want to be around people and I didn't want to work. So, and then on top of that, my stomach problems made it worse. So me being depressed and then me having a stomach problem made me not even want to leave my house. So I kind of just like stayed in my house all the time. And I smoked all the time and I went out to eat all the time because that's how I cope with life. So um, January is kind of where shit turned around. We just moved like two weeks ago and it's March. So yeah. Um, so now I got my own space and this is my room. And um, if y'all want like a room tour, y'all can have one. But my room ain't shit. So yeah so now i'm just doing my makeup and um i hope you guys enjoy it i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do uh, i don't know how i want to do my makeup i think i'm gonna do gold because i'm gonna wear gold i'm gonna wear gold okay basically there's a lot of stuff that happened between being depressed and me not being depressed um i got in trouble with <laughs> the cops like three times for weed i had a lot of shit happen um, a lot of my friends stopped being my friend still, but you know, I don't even care about friends anymore. Like at this point, I don't care if I have friends, like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't fight for anybody's attention anymore. If somebody doesn't want to be in my life, bitch, I, bye. Like, I want to do a really creative look because I haven't done my makeup in a long time, but I'm on a time limit, kind of, so. Hmm. Let's see if I can find some inspiration. Um, I don't even know where I should start. So, let's start with the first time I got pulled over. <laughs> first time I got pulled over, there's a video on that. I don't know if it's still on YouTube. Probably not because they probably took it down. And I didn't get pulled over, actually. Me and my friends were making a video. We were hotboxing and somebody called the cops on us and said that our car looked suspicious. I don't know why people are going to be snitches. By the way, I'm going to use my Manly palette, the first makeup palette that I ever got. Because I need yellow and I don't really have any nice yellows. Undercover pulled up behind us. They took our weed. We were all drinking and we were all smoking. But we were all of age. So. And we weren't really driving. Like we were parked. And it was weird. And I think we really didn't get in that much trouble. Because of the fact that we were parked at my friend's like house. But we were parked in the street. And like the person across the street must have fucking seen that there is people sitting in the car with the lights on because when I record in the car like my, the lights I use the phone lights because I like the way that it looks you know what I'm saying and it makes it bright enough for you guys to be able to see everything that we're doing um so somebody called the cops undercover pulled up behind us so we couldn't back up and they were like what are y'all doing it smells like weed we were drinking and smoking and honestly with the cops it's best to just tell the fucking truth because most of the time when you get in trouble with the cops and you tell them about weed, I mean, they, they, like, they just take it and put it in evidence and you get a ticket and that's pretty much it. It's pretty much decriminalized everywhere, so don't, like, people really think that I'm stupid and think that I, like, walk around or drive around with, like, weed in my car and that I just smoke it in my fucking car and I like don't give a fuck about nothing like I want to get pulled over but I promise you I'm not that stupid 
by the way this camera is so much more bomb like I can see the viewfinder I gotta stop looking at myself first of all but um the quality is fire the focus is like fire as fuck it don't go out of focus or nothing like that um and this is the Canon Rebel T5i and I got it as a present thanks to daddy <laughs> So anyways, um, long story short, I kind of stick to myself now and I'm literally only focused on my videos, making money, and getting out of debt. And I have like two, maybe three friends. If you aren't those people, I don't really give a fuck about hanging out with you or anything like that. So yeah, because I did want to work at first. Also, that's another reason why I wasn't doing videos because I was working so hard to try and get out of debt. And I wanted to please people so bad, like, I just wanted to be out of debt so bad that I kind of stopped recording. And I was like, you know what, I'll just record later once I get, like, this this amount of money, I'll start recording again. Or once I pay off this bill, I'll start recording again. But then I started realizing that if I don't start recording, like, this shit's never gonna happen. And it's not that I want to be, like, this big person on YouTube, because I literally don't even care about that anymore, because so many people are trying to get YouTube famous that it is annoying as fuck like i hate when people ruin shit i hate when people ruin being a makeup artist every bitch and their fucking mother is a makeup artist now every person got a fucking you ever is a youtube couple you know what i'm saying like i don't even care about that anymore i don't even care about making money from youtube i literally just want people to know who i am because i feel like i'm an extremely genuine person and i'm funny as fuck and i feel like i have the power to like help people in somehow or some way AKA educating people about weed because people don't fucking know about it. I hope nobody's home. Um, I'm busting out these. The Shawnee's Cosmetics Glitters. Pigments, whatever the fuck. Whatever the fuck you wanna call them. Um, I'm gonna wear gold so I'm probably gonna do this. Um, they don't have like numbers on them. I think this is number 40. Don't do this. People that see me like my brushes, mind your fucking business because I clean all my brushes before I put it on somebody else's face. The only time I lick a brush or some shit is whenever I'm using it on me. Why the fuck would I lick a brush and then stick it on somebody else's face? That sounds trifling as fuck. <sighs> the makeup doesn't look that nice whenever I look at it on the viewfinder, but whenever I edit the video, it looks so bomb. Maybe that's why I think that like my makeup looks shitty before I edit it and it makes me mad. Or before I see the video and it makes me mad. Ooh, girl. Girl, 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 girl. It's like I haven't done makeup in so long. Like this literally makes me so happy is doing makeup. So that's why another reason why I'm trying to go through with this because I've been trying to do a makeup YouTube for a long time. And bitch, that's what the fuck I'm gonna do. Like, regardless if a bunch of bitches are doing it, nobody's me. Nobody's me. Y'all bitches be basic as fuck out here. Now, there are people that do make it better than me, but... They're not in my path, so... Doesn't bother me, now. You feel me? Rihanna's Kilowatt Highlighter. This shit always goes on my brow bone regardless we're just gonna put a little bit of glitter here and a little bit of glitter there it's like no bitch we're, we're using a lot of glitter i use so much highlighter and glitter that like i have to reapply the eyeshadow you feel me because the glitter ends up taking away from it because i put so much of it on but it's it's cool I told y'all, highlighting is like my favorite thing. I'm taking more red and just trying to make the orangish, reddish as dark as I can. This isn't actually a red color. I do have a red color from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna try to see if that like comes out any better. Cause these aren't really red. These are like orange-ish and I'm using these ones right here. So, and I want it to be red. Yeah, no. mm. um, my room has this background in it this wall that I was thinking about recording in front of but I didn't want the same background all the fucking time and I feel like if I recorded in front of that I would want it to be like I don't know I might record in front of it I mean I'll probably end up 
recording in front of it but i'm just saying i didn't want the same background all the time and i didn't want to have to like keep taping a background up to it and the way that this setup is over here it's like a piece of the ground is like leveled up and like you know what i'm saying so i just decided i would keep it over there but i'm probably going to be recording everywhere because a bitch likes change i feel like the shape of my eye and how i want my eyeliner don't go together so i feel like i just don't really do it anymore also i haven't recorded because i planned on recording like the first day that we got in this house okay well not the first day because i was unpacking but like the first day i was fully unpacked and shit i was like yeah i'm gonna record whatever whatever and then um my contacts ripped like it's one thing after another so yeah my contacts ripped and bitch i can't fucking see without contacts so i had to wear my ugly ass glasses and i even had to wear them to work and i was so fucking mad because i hate wearing my glasses anywhere because my glasses aren't even like up to date they're like from when i was probably I don't even know. Those are my backup glasses. I look like a new baby. I feel like. People say makeup is to accentuate your features, and it is. But if you want to go ham, bitch, go ham. Like, nobody cares. People tell me my eyebrows are too close all the, all the time. Like, literally on a daily basis. Have y'all seen me space my eyebrows out? No. I, I, don't, I don't think you did. I don't think you did. So, wear and do whatever the fuck you want. I appreciate it. I know you guys are concerned. <laughs> And my eyebrows are too close together and yes i know my eyebrows are too close together sometimes so like people act like i don't know that i did my eyebrows like that maybe i fucking like them that close together like this this is too close together is, is this too close together because there's only one finger space there well sis i don't know what to tell you because that's as far apart as they're gonna get so because this is this pretty far this pretty far to me so no, I'm kidding. But for real, that's like the thing that I get the most <laughs> comments on is your eyebrows are too close together. But honestly, it's not that I'm not listening to you guys. It's not that I don't care. I just literally like my eyebrows like this. Like if you look at my pictures from even when I started doing my eyebrows, like, okay, now when I did my eyebrows with black eyeshadow because those were atrocious and they weren't even close together, they were just I literally didn't even fill them in like this I just colored them like colored my actual eyebrow shape in with a black eyeliner like there was no beginning or end there was no fade it was just all one color <laughs> so yeah not those eyebrows but whenever I started filling them in since I've been using the Anastasia dip brow because that's the first cream cream brow product that I used ever since I've been using cream brow products my eyebrows have been like this literally so I don't know where y'all been, but I mean, they used to be closer together back when I was little too. Like they were even closer than this. So if you think these are close, you have no fucking idea, but I still like my eyebrows. I remember the one day I even thought that I did them too close together. Now, if I think I do them too close together, then they're definitely way too fucking close together. But, um, these are literally like my eyebrows look bomb as fuck. Even my mom, even my grandma, people were like, hey, did you mean to put your eyebrows that close? Yes, I did, baby. Yes, I did. Yes, the fuck I did. You see that space? I'm protecting it. I'm not even going over it because I want it to stay that precise. You feel me? I want my eyebrows to be bold. I want my eyebrows to be the boldest thing on my face because it draws attention. I feel like your eye makeup is the thing that pulls people into your face. Alright, so beauty blend that shit in. My battery's about to die. Oh my god, so we gotta speed it up. Um, 
all right guys um i'm sorry i came prepared this battery life is either really short or i'm tripping so either way i'm gonna try to save this video so thank you guys for watching um just know the bitch is back i know i said that a million times and i know i said that a million times and i know i said that a million times bitch but so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time um i don't know what video i'm gonna record next but um thanks for all the love and support over the three four years that i played you guys <laughs> um yeah so before this shit dies i'm gonna go thanks for watching